you're on chemotherapy, this is a very important video for you to watch because I'm diving into 10 things you need to avoid completely while going through chemo. We're talking everyday foods that could make your side effects worse, supplements that can reduce the effectiveness of your treatments, and surprising everyday things that could seriously impact your health. Trust me, these can make a big difference in how you feel. It's no secret that the side effects from chemo can be brutal. Hopefully one day we'll have treatments with way less side effects. But for now, while it's still one of the most effective treatments we have available, there are certain things you can do to minimize your side effects from it. And unfortunately, a lot of healthcare providers don't tell their patients this. So let's kick things off with foods to avoid because what you eat can make or break how you feel during chemo. First off, avoid anything that can easily carry bacteria. Chemo will weaken your immune system, so it'll be easier to get bacterial infections. Your body just doesn't make as many white blood cells during chemo, so you'll have to be extra careful about germs. First and foremost, wash your fruits and veggies like crazy. Even if they look super clean, or even the pre-washed bags of lettuce or spinach that you can buy at a grocery store, they'll still need to be rinsed really well. Eating fruits and vegetables becomes extra important while you're going through chemo to get all the fiber and nutrients that will help to keep your immune system strong. So a great all natural way to clean them is to soak them in one part vinegar and four parts water. This is a cheap and easy way to get rid of bacteria and you'll be getting rid of a lot of the pesticides on them as well. But as for foods to avoid eating, raw or undercooked eggs, meat or fish like sushi are definitely off the table during chemo because they can carry bacteria that may not make a healthy person sick but can be really dangerous if your immune system is weak. Something else you'll want to avoid, I know they're fun, but buffets. They're basically germ fests. And the same goes for salad bars and potlucks or any food that's been sitting out, especially dishes with mayonnaise like egg salad or tuna salad. Just avoid them for now. Now, if you love spicy or greasy food, this next one may be a bit tough, but these types of food can really make certain side effects worse like mouth sores or any digestive issues like nausea or heartburn. And I promise you will not want that on top of everything else. Another fun side effect from chemo is that your taste buds could go crazy. I've had patients tell me their food started tasting metallic or just plain weird, but don't worry, it's only temporary. In the meantime, you can try to play around with different sauces or seasonings to make things taste better. I know it can be hard to eat when nothing tastes good, but it's important to try to keep up your strength. And your taste buds will likely return to normal a few weeks after finishing chemo. Okay, now this is a big one. Another food to avoid is sugar. I know your oncologist may have told you to drink those canned milkshakes like Boost or Ensure, which are actually loaded with sugar, but hear me out. It disrupts your gut microbiome, and since 70% of your immune system is located in your gut, eating too much sugar will make your immune system even weaker during chemo, which is obviously the last thing you want. But I mean, if a milkshake is the only thing you can tolerate to get calories in, fine. But try to go for a homemade smoothie instead. You can load it up with cancer-fighting ingredients like berries for antioxidants, Greek yogurt for protein, and even sneak in some spinach or flaxseed for extra nutrients. Not many doctors will tell you this, but there's a ton of scientific proof to show that keeping sugar out of your diet as much as possible during chemo can actually help your treatments be more effective. Now it's also no secret that treatments like chemo can make you really deficient in certain essential nutrients like calcium, iron, magnesium, and vitamin B. So if you want to learn how to avoid or correct these deficiencies, click on the first link below this video. Now let's talk supplements. Not many of them are safe for you to be taking during chemo because some can actually make your treatments less effective by messing with the way your body metabolizes the chemo drugs. For example, antioxidant supplements like vitamins A, C, or E, avoid them. Studies have shown that people who take antioxidant supplements during chemo, especially for breast cancer, actually had higher risks of their cancer coming back later on. Coenzyme Q10 and carotenoids are other examples of antioxidant supplements you need to be avoiding. However, and this is important, it is safe to eat foods that are high in antioxidants while you're on chemo, like spinach, berries, or dark chocolate. In fact, eat as much as possible because they will support your immune system and therefore make your treatments more effective. The difference is that antioxidant supplements contain very high concentrated doses of them and foods don't, so they're completely safe. Two more surprising supplements that can actually interfere with how your body absorbs chemo are calcium and iron supplements. But the frustrating thing is that chemo can make you deficient in calcium and iron. So you'll want to make sure that you're getting enough of these two nutrients from the foods you're eating to avoid getting anemia from low iron levels or weak bones from a calcium deficiency. Foods high in iron are any meat, beans, lentils, chickpeas, tofu, and spinach. 
And tofu and spinach happen to be high in calcium as well. So are dairy products, obviously, but especially yogurt. And if you can find Greek yogurt, you can also get 10 grams of protein per cup from it. That's amazing. Something else you'll need to be careful with during chemo are herbal supplements. For example, ginkgo, echinacea, ginseng, or St. John's wort, just to name a few. Even though they may seem safe because they're all natural, they can also affect your chemo treatments. So you'll still need to run them by your doctor first. Okay, so we've gone over some foods and supplements to avoid. Now let's talk about some surprising everyday things that can also seriously impact your health during chemo. Some are more obvious, but some aren't so obvious. Two pretty obvious ones are tobacco and alcohol. And yes, unfortunately, that even means a light beer. I say that because I've had a lot of patients ask me if it's okay to have the occasional Bud Light while they're on treatment, which seems harmless, right? But because your liver is already on overdrive from toxic chemo drugs, even the smallest amount of alcohol can be pretty detrimental and make your nasty side effects even worse. Both alcohol and tobacco will make your treatments less effective and increase your chances of getting neuropathy, mouth sores, nausea, dehydration, and extreme nutrient deficiencies. Basically all the worst side effects nobody wants. And something most people don't realize is that the same goes for being around secondhand smoke. So it's best to just avoid going places where you know people will be smoking around you. Speaking of being around others, while your immune system is low, obviously you'll be more susceptible to catching airborne viruses or colds, so you'll also want to avoid big crowds. When you're in public, try to wear a mask, especially when you go to the doctor's office or hospital and you're around sick people, and always carry a little bottle of hand sanitizer around with you so you can use it after touching public surfaces like door handles or ATM machines. But something less obvious that you'll want to avoid, again, since chemo puts a lot of strain on your liver, you'll want to avoid exposing yourself to chemicals or toxins in the environment. I mean, as much as possible, obviously you can't live in a bubble. <laughs> But as far as chemicals go, you can try to use natural cleaning products or vinegar instead of breathing in toxic ammonia or bleach. And it's even a great idea to use all natural shampoos, soaps, or deodorant because for one, you'll be limiting your exposure to potential harmful chemicals that are in them. And two, chemo can make your skin more sensitive. Some people develop dry, itchy skin patches that can peel or turn into a rash. So all the more reason to use a natural soap or moisturizer. And chemo makes your skin way more sensitive to the sun. So cover up, use sunscreen, or stay in the shade as much as possible to avoid getting burned. Something else I want to say about avoiding chemicals is that if there's ever a time when buying organic produce is helpful, during chemo would be a great time to buy organic fruits and vegetables if you can to avoid toxic pesticides. But with that being said, if you're going to be peeling the fruit or vegetable, it's not as important to buy the organic version, but berries or bell peppers where you do eat the skin are better to buy organic. So I think I've gone over more than 10 things to avoid while you're on chemo, but each one is really important to help minimize your side effects and give you the best chance of beating cancer. Your body goes through a lot with chemo and it needs all the support it can get. I have another helpful video lined up for you on how to keep your immune system strong after cancer. And again, if you wanna learn more about all of the essential nutrients your body becomes deficient in during chemo and how to easily fix them, click on the first link below this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.